Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Ipswich Town nil Everton to the Toffees have won an away game. The first time for 10 months since we've been Burnley 2 0 away. And guess what? Michael Keane scored in that one as well. But a good performance today by Everton, it has to be said. Uh, done. I press the only disappointing thing, really, if you if you want to go down that route, is the fact that they never scored more goals because uh, some of the play deserve more goals. But better finishing or better final pass, we'd have won by a bigger margin. Uh, we had Ashley Young at right back, Michael Keane partner, the Tarkovsky at centre back, Michalenko back in at left back, the manager in, put in midfield, uh, Drishagana Gay and Decore is a two. Dwight McNeil ahead of them. One side, Illiman and Jay, who thankfully overcome uh, any injury worries from the uh, his trip to the Senegal games. And we had Jack Harrison on the right. Dominic Calvert-Lewin through the middle. Um, the subs bench was an interesting one, wasn't it? Two goalkeepers and three right-backs, but no Jesper Lindstrom. Um, but... We we started the game really well. It has to be said. We were we looked we pressed Ipswich high, put them under a little bit of pressure. It uh, looked like we got, you know, we knew what the game plan was, which was good. Um, and really had them on the back foot. We'd had a, a moment where Illiman and Jai had got in round the back and cut one. Well, he should have, in my opinion, he should have shot. He didn't. He played. He played it back. And I don't know, I still don't know why I've seen it again about five times, why Dwight McNeil doesn't just sweep it in with his left foot. Tries to stop it and take a step back in the penalty area to give himself time to shoot. It was a, such a weird action. Uh, he ends up getting the ball taken off him. Then Ipswich cut through us with a lovely bit of football that started sort of in their own third, their final third, um, and broke through the lines brilliantly. And Jack Clark, it's cut back, Jack Clark, has got to do better. He probably had time to take a touch, uh, but he probably seen McNeil and thought, I'll hit it first time, and he, one foot went under the other, and he blazed it over. And then Dominic Calvert-Lewin had an absolutely guilt-edged opportunity. He does really well initially. Okay, closes down, nicks in, gets in 1v1 one one with Murray, and hits it straight at the goalkeeper instead of just dinking it. We know he's not great at them. Uh, but I thought overall, I thought Dominic Calvert-Lewin led the line brilliantly today. It's just his, finish, his finishing today was really poor. But he led the line brilliantly, you know, running off the ball, strong running, held it up, laid it off well, made some great runs, got in great positions. Just couldn't have the uh, killer touch on any of them. But we did take the lead. Uh, ball in towards the back post. It gets uh, the defender at the far post, should probably do better, hesitates. And Jai's there, there's pressure as well. I can't remember if it's from Decore, I think. Putting the, the player under pressure and Illiman and Jai gets it out of his feet and wraps it into the top corner. Brilliant strike from him to give Everton the lead. And, and after that, Everton were in, in my opinion anyway, were in com complete control. We had another opportunity, Dwight McNeil off on the right-hand side, drops one in, great first touch and Calvert-Loon swivels and it's a shot just too close to Murray, either side of him. It might have been put him in real trouble. Uh, then he almost scored off a corner, Dwight. An in-swinging corner that almost caught Murray out as Everton sort of just passed through uh, with with consummate ease. But there was a moment where we had to have our heart in our mouth. Of course, this wouldn't be Everton without doing that. We should clear a corner on the edge of our box. Dwight McNeil trying to, tries to be a bit clever and Meg the lad and gives it away. And Clark works his way into the box and goes down under pressure from McNeil. The referee points to the penalty spot, Michael Oliver. At first, seeing it first time, you just think it's a penalty. A player going through that bit of traffic in, inside the box, sort of eight or nine yards out, you think it's a penalty. Seeing it again quickly became evident. It was a, a more exaggerated version of what Dominic Calvert-Lewin had done against Newcastle a fortnight ago. And you that was the only thing I was working off basically was well they took you know they didn't give their Calvert Lumen his penalty because they said he kicked down Burn. He threw his foot back to strike a ball. I still think it was a penalty. You could argue then that Jack Clark was a penalty today, but using the same rule which is what they used, they got to the decision which which was consistent with what the decision was when we played Newcastle the other week, which was no penalty. The striker 
kicked the defender's foot and went under. So Everton maintained their one goal lead. That soon became two. A corner, so it's only half cleared by Ipswich, goes up in the air, comes out to the edge of the box. Great first touch from Dwight McNeil. Does really well, drops the shoulder and then threads a lovely little ball through. And Michael Keane wraps it into the roof of the net with his left foot. It's a tremendous strike from the angle. And again, the thing with Michael Keane is sometimes, although not today, you, ha you hold your breath when he's in his uh, own penalty here. But at the other end of the pitch, you have, well, I do. I have more faith in him than anybody else in terms of putting the ball in the back of the net. It was a tremendous strike from the angle. Really was roof of the net, give Murray absolutely zero chance of doing anything with it and put Everton 2 0 up. And you know, we could have had it more before the break. We went in the half time 2 up, came out for the second half and controlled things, really kept it through to your arm's length. Yes, there was more goals, Dom. Again, had two good opportunities for me that he, he should have at least got shots away with. Illiman and Jai broke forward. Probably should have done better. As far as I just pass it beyond it, Murray in the goal. And Jordan Pickford was largely untroubled for, for most of the afternoon. And Ipswich, the only the, the disappointing thing for me was Everton stopped playing with sort of 20 minutes to go and allowed Ipswich back in it. I think they made five subs, uh, which again is always a bone of contention with us Evertonians, isn't it? Because that's our team is getting tired. We saw this with the Bournemouth game when we were tuning up and they made five changes. They end up winning it. Sean Dykes doesn't like making changes. He just doesn't. And, um, you know, we put Mangala on, pushed McNeil to the left and took Illiman and Jai off. But you need more. You need fresh legs. OK, he didn't have loads of choice today, but there was things he could have done. Uh, but I just thought that allowed Ipswich back in. And we also sat back as a team we had. A couple where we've tried to clear the ball and even Calvert Lumen's been behind the ball and oh we have got it up to him and nobody's nobody's got up there to help him out. But we did control it. They had a couple of efforts which Jordan Pickford saved, which were easy for him, comfortable saves. We had ones that fizzed across their box. But overall, a really, really solid performance. Uh, we've got that thing out the way now the away win you know 10 months since our last one over 10 months so that's good that's out the way and we've got a game against Fulham at Goodison Park next week now that is very winnable yes they're a good side but it's at home you've got to start winning our home games we've won one home game so far so hopefully we can add to that next week uh, man of the match for me today well like I said I thought Dominic Calvert-Lewin had a really strong game and centre forward perspective but it's finishing, let him down today. Uh, I thought that Dwight McNeil, some good, some moments of not so good, but overall good. Uh, when he's in the pocket, I think he, I've said before, he's wasted. Well, it's not, not that he's wasted. He's just, in my opinion, we don't get the best out of him and he's not good enough to play wide left for us, not quick enough. In the middle, I think he's a different, he's a different player altogether. But I'm going to give man of the match today to Michael Keane. Because I thought he defended really well. He scored an absolute worldy. And I thought overall he defended brilliantly. Um, the two centre-halves did really well today. Liam Delapa, who I think is a talented player, ended up looking like a Sunday league striker today at times. Barging people in the back, leaving his foot in after it. Shoving people. It's really, really showed his immaturity today. Because I think he is a good player and I think Ipswich fans will enjoy watching him this season. He's already scored four goals, I think, which is a great return. But that today was a little bit, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be better than that. But I thought Everton's two centre-backs dealt with everything today. But I thought Michael Keane, for me, overall, is deserved as, of man of the match. And obviously the goal made a big uh, contribution as well. So well done, Michael Keane. Great win for Everton. Um, Another set, you know, another clean sheet with the light Sean Dykes, which is good. Back to back clean sheets, got to keep that going. More players back, great to see Seamus Coleman, of course, back on the bench today, and Nathan Patterson as well. So it's good to start getting these players back. We need our former players fit, you know, Lindstrom, who I think is ill and wasn't involved today. We also need Breuer fit, we need Chimiti fit. Um, and then, you know, we can start, we can start hopefully continue to climb the table so big win today good win today 
Uh, if you're a toffee, go and enjoy the rest of your night and your weekend. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.